in her first interview since taking a formal position as part of her father's administration, Ivka Trump defended herself against a growing public impression that she plays a passive role in the midst of several swirling executive branch controversies. If being complicit is wanting to, be a force for good and to make a positive impact, then I'm complicit, said Ivka Trump who was named assistant to the president last week despite announcing during her father's campaign that she would not take a role in the administration. Ivka Trump taking formal role in administration amid ethics concerns. Ivka Trump's new White House role doesn't eliminate ethics concerns, experts say. Critics of the president have alleged that Ivka Trump and her husband, senior advisor to the president Jared Kushner, have refused to push back against President Trump's more divisive actions, including the effort to ban travelers from certain countries, despite their reportedly moderate personal beliefs. I would say not to conflate lack of public denouncement with silence. I think there are multiple ways to have your voice heard, said Ivka Trump. In some case, it's through protest and it's through going on the nightly news and talking about or denouncing every issue in which you disagree with. Other times it is quietly and directly and candidly. So where I disagree with my father, he knows it, and I express myself with total candor. I don't know that the critics who may say that of me, if they found themselves in this very unique and unprecedented situation that I am now in, would do any differently than I am doing, said Ivka Trump. So I hope to make a positive impact. I don't know what it means to be complicit, but you know, I hope time will prove that I have done a good job and much more importantly that my father's administration is the success that I know it will be. She also defended her Kushner, 36, who is one of the president's most trusted aides with a wide-ranging brief covering domestic and foreign policy. He is currently visiting Iraq with General Joseph Dunford, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Like his father-in-law he has no previous experience in government but has swapped New York real estate and magazine publishing businesses for a stratospheric rise into one of the most powerful players in Washington. So, you know a lot of people would say the same about how could somebody successfully win the presidency who had never been engaged in politics and my father did that and Jared was instrumental in helping his campaign succeed, she said. So, you know Jared is incredibly smart, very talented, has enormous capacity. He is humble in the recognition of what he doesn't know, and is tremendously secure in his ability to seek informed viewpoints. He has an amazing team that my father has built at the White House, and that he's built that's helping work on each of these initiatives. So you know the myth that he is operating in a silo is just that.